Okay. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. When I first started Toastmasters about uh, years ago, 15, almost 16 years ago, I would go to my meetings, and watch what people were doing, and you may remember a member named Fran. I think you might have been a member then, an older woman. She gave a speech one night, and I barely understood a word of it. She had a very soft voice. She stopped. She went back. It didn't seem to be connected. I didn't know where she was going. And when she finished, I thought, oh my goodness, how is anyone going to evaluate that speech? And then the gentleman, Bill, got up later, and he gave the most beautiful, composed speech as an evaluation. What amazed me about this is that he found wonderful things to say about what she had done. And they were all true. He had not made them up. And he found two or three suggestions that she could work on to become a better speaker. When he sat down, I looked at him and thought, I want to be able to do that. And I worked at it. And I worked at it. And I am not sure still to this day that I could do what he did, but I learned step by step how to evaluate, and I'm still working on how to become an e a better evaluator. Now, why should you evaluate? At uh, one time, the Toastmasters had a little slogan. Come to Toastmasters for better speaking, better listening, and better critical thinking. And I would suggest that those are three reasons why everyone should evaluate. You become a better speaker because you have to get up, as we all do, and speak in front of people. A better listener because you are listening to every little detail, trying to pick out the gems and think of the things that can help someone become better. And the critical thinking goes without saying. You're gathering all of this information, you're organizing it in a small amount of time, and then putting it out to the audience and to the speaker, and asking them to consider your opinion. Who can evaluate? Anyone can evaluate. There are no guidelines as to how many speeches you must have, or how many times you have to attend the meeting. I would suggest, however, that you have done at least two, three, maybe more speeches so that you have an idea of where that speaker is coming from. You have an idea what they're going through so that you can give them suggestions. I would also suggest that maybe you have been a member for a few months at least, maybe up to six or even a year before you try to evaluate. But there is no rule. And you may find that you are ready quicker than, say, someone else. And that's fine when you're ready.